Hey, welcome back to Max Training Tips. It's the K-Man here. You know what I used to say when I was young, when I was a young trainer, ready to prove to the world how great a trainer I was? I used to say to my clients, go hard or go home. Yes, mm, they went home. Not good, lost clients. I remember training my father when he was in his 70s. I used to bring him into the studio. I said, come and train with me. And, and he stopped training with me. And I asked him, how come you're not training with me anymore? And he says, you know, when I train with you, for three or four days after training, I can barely move. I'm so sore, I can't even get off the toilet. You told me that training is gonna improve my quality of life, and if anything, it's done the exact opposite. So I don't wanna train with you anymore. So then I thought to myself, hey, you're right. Because I used to train people the way I wanted to train myself. I used to bash myself into oblivion. And I thought, well, yeah, all my clients wanna train that hard. No. Yes, there will be a small percentage of your clients who may want to train where get bashed, but most of your clients do not want to get bashed. And what I see a lot of trainers do is push their clients far too hard than they'd like to be pushed. So here's a couple of sayings which I've learned over the years when training with clients and even training myself. Train your clients. Don't strain them. Progress them. Don't push them. Because you may push them over the edge where it no longer adds quality of life to their life. It is uncomfortable and they don't want to train that hard. So here's a good way to look at it. When you train your clients, first of all, before you train them, find out how hard they want to train. So Mrs. Jones, Mr. Jones, out of one to 10, how hard would you like to train? One means you feel nothing. 10, you're absolutely exhausted. And find out what range I like to train and train them at that intensity that makes them feel comfortable. Now, over time, let them progress the intensity. So they may start, look, I want to start off at maybe a six or seven. Great, because training at a six or a seven is better than no training at all. And once they get comfortable with it, they may take it up to a seven and to an eight. But very few people ever want to train to a nine and a 10 unless you're an elite athlete or they're one of these crazy trainers, like you probably are, because that's why you became a personal trainer, and why I used to be when I was younger. But now, because I've got lots of injuries and joint injuries from that type of training anyway, today I personally train around a seven and eight, and I can still progress my strength. So when I did get my father back into the personal training studio, I was training him at around about a six at top seven, because he had osteoarthritis. But the beautiful thing, even at training six or seven, I could still progress his weight at six, seven. So it was a more comfortable progression. So he still got up to quite a significant level of strength to the level where he was squatting with 20 kilos in each arm and he could leg press with four plates aside. I used to try to get him up to five, six plates aside, but that used to strain him, not train him. And now I used to, I used to push him, not progress him. So when you're training your clients, be careful that you don't train them like you like to train or the way your friends like to train because your clients are probably want to train to add quality to their life, not take quality from their life. They want to progress through the training session, not go through the training session full of pain and discomfort and straining. So take those tips on, find out how hard your clients want to train and then train them at that intensity, use the PRE scale of one to 10, and then progress the weight within that one to 10 range of what they're sharing with you. So to finish off, train your clients, don't strain them, progress them, don't push them, because all you will do is push them away. And you, therefore, you cannot help someone if people are not training with you at all. See you in the next tips.